no, 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 um, yeah. So uh, pick up a gift certificate for someone over the holidays and more. Um, next up, this is kind of cool. We got a book. Um, we got a MicroPython book already. This showed up and we weren't even sure um, that it was supposed to be out yet, but uh, we got 50 of them um, and the publisher sent them to us, so there we go. Um, so this is my, uh, Python for microcontrollers, getting started with MicroPython, has R stuff in it, has um, stuff from, of course, Damien, yeah, the creator of MicroPython. Really yeah, yeah, well, you know, I have photos. Okay, but I, when I flip through, I can like point out. You, you want to flip through? Flip through. Yeah, sure. Flip it. Okay, so uh, you know, it's it's a nice book. It's got black and white photos. It talks about Python internals. It talks about the Pi board. It has some wiring diagrams. It talks about analog digital, digital to analog, PWM, um, more stuff. A lot of very Pi board based. So yeah. this is a really good um, addition to the Pi board. It's got LCDs skins and capacitive yeah. touch um amplification and see the DAC I guess there's a DAC on it a little robot rover you can make that's always fun mm -hmm. uh GPS using actually our ultimate GPS so that's yep. kind of nice whoa this is yeah let me focus sorry yeah, about that this is a bug you can get it yeah and then uh available ESP, even in print before Kindle so ESP8266 stuff yeah and so also, gonna, yeah, some soldering and yeah, LEDs and then Wi-Fi. Yeah. So it covers kind of the biggies. Got all sorts of stuff. Okay. All right. Thanks. Next up. Sweet. A screwdriver. It's a screwdriver. Very basic, simple screwdriver. Um, we're carrying it for our um, assembly of a little robot pack that mm. we have. Uh, the, the rover, uh, so mm -hmm. we want to have people, people are like, ah, like you need a screwdriver to put it together. And I'm like, okay, so we have it now. So here's a screwdriver, comes with Adafruit Black, pretty simple, okay. ready to go. And next up. Comes with Phillips and Flathead. Yes. Clip it onto your pocket protector. Next up, the star of the show tonight besides you is the RTD amp. Yay, RTD amp. It's the Max 31865. Not to be confused with the Max 31856, which don't, is a thermocouple amplifier. Don't get confused, Don't folks. get confused, folks, because they're different. This is an RTD amplifier. We actually put in the RTDs last week. So if you remember from last week, we got those a little bit earlier than we had these finished. So, you know, whatever. Uh, now we have both. Uh, RTD is a platinum sensor. It has a little piece of platinum inside the stainless steel metal tubing and then wires that connect to it. But the thing is, is that the, um, even though this is a very precise and very accurate way to measure temperature, it's basically what they would use in scientific or medical uh, uses. I don't recommend it for that, because it's you know, don't do that. still not guaranteed for, for the precision that you might need. But if you are doing um, any kind of temperature work, mycology or, or making your own yogurt or brewing, or you just want to measure soil temperatures very precisely, this is going to get really good performance for you, um, but because it is a platinum resistor and it's 100 ohms at zero degrees centigrade, you need to have a very good amplifier because to read 100 ohms precisely is quite difficult. Even a one ohm difference equals about like a third of a degree. Um, yeah, I think one ohm equals one third of a degree. So you want to have a very, very, very precise way of measuring the resistance of that platinum Piece. And so while you could, you know, kind of jig together your own analog digital converter on Arduino, if you're going to spend the money to get one of these um, sensors, you should get a really good amplifier. And so we have what is, I consider, a very good amplifier. Good the right Max 31865. And this is a, works with any Arduino or other microcontroller. It's BitBang SPI. It, it doesn't run very fast, so you can run it with any... Any microcontroller with four pins will be good to go. And you get a terminal block here with four connectors. And the reason you have four connectors is that you can have some RTDs that have three wires, some RTDs that have two wires, or if you're going super fancy, a four wire RTD. And the difference between these, this is four, three, and two, and it's explained in that tutorial. But basically, the resistance of the wires, this one meter long wire, is getting to the point where it's like about an ohm or two ohms. And 
because the sensor doesn't know how long those wires are and also those, you know, the wires might be different thicknesses, in order to make it easy for you so you don't have to calibrate it, you know, put it in an ice bath and then measure the resistance and then figure out the subtract the resistance of the wires, what it can do is if you have the three or four wire version, it'll measure the voltage across, basically the resistance across the inner wires and then the outer wires, and then it will subtract that extra resistance. So basically it, it, it calculates the delta from the wires and uses that to um, calculate the, the true resistance of just the sensor in the, uh, um, the uh, temperature, the RTD uh, temperature sensor. And mm -hmm. so we sell a three wire because honestly it's, it's a good, you know, two wire I think you don't get any calibration at all. Three wire is fine because it'll just take the resistance of the one wire and then double it. So it's kind of like, as long as all your wires are the same thickness and the same size, it's, it doesn't really matter. It's like, you don't need to calibrate both sides because they're, they're pretty much the same. But you know, you can use a four wire one if you want. Connect it up, we have some Arduino code. It'll give you the resistance and it'll also calculate the temperature for you. And yeah, you'll get like a really nice, <coughs> stable, repeatable result from it. So thermocouples are really good for extremely high temperatures have a lot of variation in them, a couple degrees variation. Um, they lose accuracy um, and they're not precise at all. And then, you know, they're within a couple degrees. And then um, on-chip temperature sensors are very precise. You can get 0.1 degree centigrade precision, but you can't go above 100 degrees yeah. centigrade. And then like the DS18B20s are like one degree are, or so. Are they pricier too? They're, they're, the RTDs are a little more expensive because there is a chunk of platinum involved. So whenever you get a chunk of platinum involved, you're going to pay more. So these are a little bit more expensive than thermocouples, but they'll do the, you know they'll give you that precision and accuracy that you can't get any other way. So this is kind of the ultimate in temperature sensing for the people. Okay, who care, this is the ultimate. If if you care about temperature How sensing, how come you didn't call it the ultimate temperature sensor? Like the ultimate GPS. I because the ultimate GPS is the best overall GPS, we only have one. Whereas mm. this is only the, the best, best in class. Best in class. Yeah, best in class. Ultimate in class temperature. Like there's no, it doesn't there's, roll off the tongue as easily. There's no GPS that's more precise than any other GPS. Okay. All GPSs have the same precision because they all basically use the same calculation. They're all within two meters, okay. three meters. All right, and with that, Lady Ada, a thousand products. Okay. Ooh.